Hi girls and boys, to celebrate Book Week this week, we're going to be reading Anemone is Not the Enemy. This was written and illustrated by Anna McGregor, and it's one of the shortlisted books for the Australian Book Council of Australia Awards. Now, there's not a lot of words in this book. It's told mainly through the dialogue of the characters talking. So as I read it, you'll see there's only short little bits of writing, and the illustrations all take place pretty much in one rock pool. The things that change are the different animals, different sea creatures that are in the rock pool and also the tides. Um, I hope you enjoy reading. This is a lovely book. It's talking about self-acceptance and making friends, and it's a really beautiful book to read. Anemone is Not the Enemy, written and illustrated by Anna McGregor. I am so lonely. I hate being stuck here with the boring barnacles. I thought I was fun. High tide. Oh look, new friends. Oh no, it's anemone. Whatever you do, don't get too close. Why? This shell's taken, buddy. Hi guys, what's happening out there? Don't ask. I bet you've seen some cool things. Pirates, mermaids, kraken, tell me everything. Hello? This is making me nervous. Low tide. Uh oh. Occupied. Sting. Sorry, I can't help it. As soon as the tide comes in, we're out of here. I'm trying to make friends, not enemies. So why do I always sting everyone? I did it to the seahorse. I did it to the starfish. I even stung the sea cucumber. What a pickle that was. It's no wonder everyone, everyone avoids me. High tide. I'd rather take my chances out there. Good luck, clowny. Look away, I'm naked. Hi, nice hair. Not hair, but thanks. This rock pool is great. It is? At last, my dream home. King Tide. Uh-oh. Anemone, I'm coming in, but I'll... Sting! Wow, I didn't sting you. We're good together. Oh boy. Finally, I've got a friend. But I suppose you'll be going back to the big exciting ocean. Nah, we've got a good thing going here. Catch you later. The ocean. Believe me. Ah!
Did you know? Fun fact number one. Clownfish and sea anemones have a special relationship. Clownfish are immune to sea anemones' poisonous tentacles, and these provide the fish with protection from predators. In return, clownfish clean sea anemones by eating algae and other food scraps off them. The scientific name for two species helping one another is symbiosis. Fun fact number two. Hermit crabs don't grow their own protective shells like other crabs. Instead, they use a discarded sea snail shell for pre from protection from predators. As a hermit crab's body grows, it must upgrade to a larger shell. Fun fact number three. Tides are the rise and fall of oceans caused mainly by the moon's gravitational pull on the earth. I hope you enjoyed reading with me, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.